Hello everybody. Today I want to talk to y'all about don't let excuse me. Today I want to talk about don't be fooled by the devil. Don't let the devil fool you. That's what I want to talk about today. Do not let Satan fool you. Let me tell you something. Satan, first of all, don't underestimate Satan. Even as Christians, we got power over Satan. But we got to understand this is the same guy. Because Satan is crafty. Like, don't underestimate him. Because it's the same guy that try to take over, uh, try to take over heaven. End up getting cast out. Matter of fact, let's uh, let's go into Revelation. Let's go to Revelation. Chapter. Chapter twelve, verse nine. And the great dragon was cast out. That old serpent called the devil. And Satan, which deceived the whole world, he was cast out into earth, and his angels were cast out with him. So you see, Satan was trying to take over heaven, but he got cast out of heaven because, you know, he's, he's, he don't have any power. You know, God is the, the Lord of all lords, the, the kings of all kings, the Alpha and Omega. There is no way that Satan was going to win a war against us, uh, against God. That's why he had the, his, uh, the angel uh, uh, Michael, you know, dominated Satan and his angels. And they got cast out. As you see, they got cast into the earth. But I'm saying to say all this, like, don't be fooled by Satan. Like... Satan know, he know our flesh is weak. That's why we got to move in the spirit. Because Satan know our flesh is very weak. And our flesh desire many things of this earth. You know, we desire a lot of lustful things of this earth. We desire, you know, you know that's why a lot of, you know, greed is one of the things that, that Satan, uh, that Satan uses to get to our earthly flesh because you know our flesh is weak so he could he could use money to get to us you know you got a lot of people being deceived by money they out there chasing money whether they doing illegal doing illegal things to get money and never satisfied to keep on want to get money and so they're doing Ill illegal things to get money like let me just tell you don't don't be deceived by don't don't be fooled by Satan He's real crafty. Don't underestimate him at all. The minute you try to underestimate him and think it's nothing, that's when he'll get you. But I'm just saying, don't be fooled by Satan because he could promise you many things and you won't get nothing. Satan, like you got a lot of uh, devil worshipers out here that's following Satan. You know, he been we first of all, let me just say this. This is the same guy that deceived Eve. And she just and she deceived Adam. So just think about it. The first two people on earth, Satan deceived them. Like, think about it. He said, Oh, you can eat from that. After God told him, don't eat from this tree. He told him, Oh, you can eat from this tree. He just don't want you just don't wanna he just don't want you to, to know everything like he know everything. He deceived him. He was crafty. So if he could deceive Eve, and just imagine, he even tried to tempt Jesus when he was fasting for 40 days and 40 nights. He even tried to tempt Jesus. So imagine what he's going to do to you and I. He's going to be real crafty when it comes to trying to deceive him. Because he knows his time is short on this earth. So he's trying to deceive many people as he can. And people is falling for him. And he used the various things that people will fall for. He used money, he used sex. As a weapon, he used all these things. Because you know that we're going to fall for that. Satan is, 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 is very crafty. You got you to gotta watch him. You can't fall into that trap. 
That's why the Bible tells us to put on the full armor of God. We don't battle against flesh. We battle against principality. We battle in the spiritual world. So we gotta, we gotta, we gotta put on the full armor of God. We gotta stay in our word. We gotta stay in the Bible. Just think about all the stuff that's going on in the world today. Think about everything that's going on. Satan is running this world, but his time is short. His time is coming. So I'm trying to tell y'all, don't be deceived. Because when you follow Satan, there's only one place you're going to end up in, and that's hell. And you don't want to end up in hell, because that's eternal. You're never going to leave that place. You got a lot of devil worship out, out. You got a lot of devil worship deceiving a lot of devil worshipers out there, thinking that you know he promised him a, a place in his kingdom. But Satan, he's not going to share his kingdom with. He's not going to share his kingdom with you. Satan is the father of all lies. He got these people believing that you know if they follow him, they have a part of his kingdom, which they're not. You're going to be cast into hell just like he is, and you're going to burn forever. So I urge you guys out there, don't be fooled by don't be fooled by Satan. Pull on the full armor of God, cause Satan is very crafty. But you got power over him. Just stay in your word and put on that full armor of God. You got you got to you got to you got to be in the word every day, all day, so you won't fall victim. Because once and and be and ask for discernment, cause once you know the tricks of the devil. Then you can see it coming a mile away. And you can just rebuke everything you try to throw at you. I'm just saying, just think about all the things that's going on in the world. That all Satan got, like, just think about everything that's going on. Like, people out here is losing their minds right now. With the stuff that they are doing. Even when you get a thought in your head, you got to cast that out. You got to cast that thought out. You don't want to fall for Satan and his tricks. And I encourage any anybody practicing witchcraft, anybody that worships Satan, I'm telling you, turn away from that stuff right now because the end results of you practicing witchcraft, voodoo, wor uh, devil worshiping and all that stuff, I'm telling you. And yes, Satan can give you power, spiritual power in this world by worshiping. But I guarantee you, at the end of the day, you're going to end up in hell and you're going to burn forever and you're not going to be in in, in a kingdom with a, a Satan. You're not going to, he's not going to give you a part of his kingdom. Satan is the father of lies. He come to seek and destroy. Let me just say this to anybody that worships Satan. Satan do not like you. He hates you. Actually. Satan actually hates you. Because you are made in God's image. Just think about it. You and I got a chance to repent and get a second chance in life. He ain't going to never get that chance. He ain't going to never get the chance to go to heaven. He know how heaven was. He remembers heaven like it was just yesterday. He know how peaceful and blissful heaven was. And he ain't going to never ever see uh, heaven again. The only place he's going to see is hell. And he know what hell is all about. And when he be cast in the lake of fire, all those that follow him is going to be cast right along with him in the lake of fire, burning forever and being tortured forever. And you're never going to leave that place. So please don't follow Satan. All you people that follow Satan, all the people that practice voodoo and witchcraft, all this stuff like that, that worship everything but God, you're going to be cast in the lake of fire. When the second death, second, you're gonna be cast in a lake of fire. You don't want to be. You don't want to end up in hell for eternity. Don't be fooled. Don't be tricked by Satan. I'm telling you now. If you're watching this video right now, and you worship Satan, you're a devil worshiper, or you practice witchcraft, or you practice voodoo, I'm telling you, it ain't no accident why you're watching this video. But I'm telling you, turn away from practicing witchcraft. Turn away from worshiping Satan because you will end up in hell and you will burn for eternity and you will suffer for eternity and you will be tortured for eternity. You're not going to 
be a part of Satan's kingdom. I know your flesh is weak. I know people done told you. I know maybe down the line your friends or your family or whatever told you, you know, you should worship Satan. Because you get powers and things like that. And make no mistake, you do get powers by worshiping Satan. But when it's all said and done, you're going to be cast into hell forever. And Satan, like you do everyone else, he's going to look at you and call you stupid, call you a dummy. He tricked you. And, that, and the demon's going to be like, they got you. We got you. You fell for our trick. We got you. Now you're here down with us and you're going to be screaming and crying, no. And they're going to tell you to shut up because they don't like you. These demons and Satan, they don't even like you. They just brainwash you guys to, to follow Satan. But deep down inside, Satan really hates you because you was made in a God image. God made you in his image. So every time they look at you, they see God. They don't like you. Just think about it. these these people, they, the demons and stuff, they are creatures now. They was once beautiful angels in heaven. Now they're creatures now. Just think about this. Everything that you can think of on earth that is good, that comes from God. Now you think of everything that is evil that comes from Satan. So when you in hell, there's nothing good in hell. Even seeing, walking, talking, be able to breathe air. Be able to even drink of water, be able to wake up in the morning. All them good things come from, from the Lord. When you first wake up in the morning, God breathing breathe his breath in you just so you can wake up in the morning. It's no accident that you're waking up. God is waking you up every morning. And he also take his breath away when you pass away. But I'm just saying, do not be deceived by Satan and his devices. If you if you out there worshiping Satan, turn away from that wickedness and start praising God because when you take your last breath, that's it. And Satan ain't gonna he he could promise you gonna think he gonna promise you his kingdom and all that, but you're going to hell and you're gonna be tortured for eternity. There's no coming out of this place. So I'm just telling you now, don't be fooled by Satan and his devices. Don't do it. Turn away from all wickedness and serve. Our Lord Jesus Christ. Say or serve our Lord and Savior. Serve Him. Because I know there's a lot of people out there that's brainwashed by Satan. And they're thinking they're doing a good deed. They had their rituals and they meet once a month or they meet all the time and got the witchcraft book and casting spells and all this stuff like that and not thinking nothing of it. But you may think you're doing a good thing, but eventually that's all that stuff going to run out. And one day you're going to pass away. And one day you're going to be judged by our Lord and Savior. And you ain't going to have nothing to say. Nothing to say. Because you're going to, your whole life is going to play right before you. And you ain't even going to be able to look at it. Look at it. Look at it. It's going to be so hit with guilt. You ain't better even look at the screen. You're going to just feel so much guilt. You're going to be wondering, like, why did I follow this man? Why did I follow Satan for? I should have been following the Lord and Savior. If you're watching this video, this is a warning to you. Anyone who worships Satan, anyone who practices witchcraft, don't be deceived. Turn away from all that wickedness. I love you guys. God bless you. And I'm out of here. Peace.